Amen, amen. We're back. I'm Reverend Ten Toes Down, here to remain Ten Toes Down, amen. Not the congregation today. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't have the congregation today, so I'll be doing this sermon by myself, amen. But we're here to discuss about uh, basically facts or not, uh, basically things that's going on in the world, amen. Uh, first, we're going to talk about uh, that truck that was on the highway, amen. And uh, allegedly, they say uh, a, a driver hit the back of the truck. Uh, and the door flew open, and uh, he had multiple people scrambling on the highway, and money being tossed all over the highway. Niggas getting out the car, flying, and taking all the money out the highway. It's a truck. It's a truck full of money. So, uh, Well, I'm here talking about facts and all. About what? Facts, facts and all. Okay. Yeah. Right now, I'm talking about that branch truck that got hit in the back. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. I remember and that. And the money flew out. <clears throat> I wish I was there for it. You wish you was there for it? I wish I, I was, was there, there for it. But it, 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 it was up in, like, what, North uh, Jersey? North Jersey, yeah. North Jersey, yeah, right? North Jersey. Yeah. Like, uh, Mad Life, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Now, to me, it seemed like a conspiracy because how the hell you drive in the truck, there's supposed to be three drivers in the truck. And a driver hit the back of the truck, the door fly open, that's possible. True. Then it's like the money bag, it must have been sitting there. I feel like that's a that's a setup. So you think it was like a robbery attack? That, that, that's what I think. It was like it's an like inside. That job going wrong because all the money most of the really, money because fell they out. always have three guys it's like how does it fall out though like because i know whenever they leave they always lock up and they have like what, like five ten locks yeah to make sure and it's like man you have like what like a whole bag flew out and what 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 was the amount like 10k you said what, I, think, what, 10K? No, I think it was like 60,000 like 60, like 60, oh, yeah Ooh, that's a yeah. lot of money so I think it was like a, I think that was like a setup going like a like a basic SR robbery going wrong. No, I, I feel bad for the guy driving the truck because he even knows supposed to he even know what went went down. He got to the place and they were like, "You're the short sixty k." Yeah, he was like, "What?" So oh, it's all new. If I hit the truck, he kept driving on the truck. He kept yeah. driving. He kept he driving. driving. He kept driving at first. It's crazy. They're People taking tips. They say tips. That's what Billy said. They were taking ties. <laughs> they were taking ties. Yeah, they were taking ties. Yeah, they were taking ties. Yeah, they were taking ties. Funny. Yeah, they were taking ties. All in the ties. Funny. And, 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 and. Slotted. The other one. The other, other way. The other way. He's new. Oh, he's coming. What? Um, the T's, they get the T's. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm going to come out. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little pod, right? yeah, the middle pod. Hey, yo, those T's though, they good? Yeah, right, right, right. 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 Oh, I'm Daniel, by the way, guys. How are you? How are you? Right, this brother, this Daniel. I'm Reverend Ten Toes Down. Here to remain Ten, ten Toes, toes. Yeah. not nine, not ten. nine, ten. ten. Yeah, agree with that. But I feel like um. I don't know why stuff like that don't happen to me because I know. Um, or around I'm, me? Yeah. I'm, I'm, not not really that much, right? yeah, I'm not really that much of an honest person. Somebody with the fly the, the back of the truck. I would have stopped, on, I would've stopped on the side of the road and picked up every single bit of cash I saw. Yeah. I got loans to pay, man. Right. I got loans to pay. I got bills to pay. <laughs> <laughs> got to give my girl a new purse for Christmas and she bugging me about it. Right. Somebody said yeah, they were like, Merry Christmas for the people. Well, yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, that money's Merry Christmas. Yeah, sure was, man. Merry Christmas. You don't even recover the money. No, no. You, actually, they said that a couple people, because they were doing an investigation, and a couple people called in and said they got some of the money. But they're like, there's no care on that, however. You need to yeah. bring it back in for Anybody got any input on that? If y'all want to speak about it, you can call in right now, 215-906-7080. We can talk about this right now, because I actually feel like it was a setup 
going wrong, amen. That's what I actually feel. So like. I wonder what the money was from, though. Was it just from like the company? Was it from a different? It could have just been because of my money. Could, yeah, it could have been private sector. Yeah, I'm not even sure, but it could have yeah. just been a pickup from a store, yeah. and it just just yeah. happened on that highway. That's right. And that's like twice. Yeah, that's facts. That's right. Yeah. See, that's big fact. That's twice that happened in one year because I think the other one happened in Michigan. And that truck dropped like a hundred thousand. That was only like a two month span. Bro, I'm in the wrong city. Yeah, I think we're in the wrong city. <laughs> I think we're in the wrong city. Oh, damn. That's what I think, man. And then you got a uh, Takashi 6 9 in, in, in for life right now, right? He faces life. He faces he faces life. life charges, hey, amen. Uh, yeah. Racketeering charges. I heard they dropped those charges. You heard they dropped them? Yeah, I heard it. I heard they dropped those charges. They're just doing it more for the child stuff. Like what? Like the the like the child, like the child listening. Yeah, the child, yeah, that. Like the um underage kids being filmed. Oh, okay. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's getting charged with mostly, supposedly. And I understand these rappers, you bless, you got all this money. You do dumb, little games, dumb stuff shit, like you're doing dumb shit. And why yeah. would you want to touch on the little kids? I have no idea. He looks like a clown. That's you. Know? Yeah, people like that. No, he really does, but he really does look like a clown. He got yeah. tattoos all over his face. He's not. Pink hair. Stupid. Yeah, <laughs> stupid. pink hair. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> all this Treyway shit. I ain't nobody. You can't even say that now. No, you can't yeah, you're not allowed to say that. You can't even say that now. He fired his camp too. You know, he fired. Yeah, he fired his whole yeah. camp. And he was yeah. like, yeah. he said, "Maybe that shit." Mm -hmm. As yeah. soon as he found out, I would have dropped everybody. Listen, I would have picked a whole new label. And just started fresh, right? Like, like that, right? And then, but at the same time, that's how you know that he mm -hmm. Yeah, and now he's by himself. Well, towards the end, just I mean, now you can experience all this shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, he probably didn't do it himself, but he was there. Yeah, and if he did do it, he's forced to do it, maybe. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm speculating. Now, most niggas portray the life of somebody else. One of one of his boys was doing that, and now he acting like he's he's the one. And it's one funny, Six Nine isn't up. about that life too, because when he was up in Chicago, mm -hmm. he was at O Block, right? Yeah, yeah. And then remember, he had that whole thing with Chief Keith. Mm -hmm. Then they put out a video like a week or two weeks later, and you know how he was trying to flex. He was on O Block for like half an hour walking around. Next thing you know, they show the video. He only stood out there to, to shoot the video for 10 seconds and went right back in the car. Yeah, and he made it seem like he was out there all, all night. night. I, know, all I, night. I, I remember that. And people were actually walking around old block trying to find him. Like, yo, we're 6 9 You talking all this shit about, about the uh, city. He was already on the plane back to Brooklyn. Yeah, he was actually out there for 10 seconds. Back, up, back, back, back east. He was back home. I was like, damn, man. These rappers are just anything to get the cloud. And why, would you, why would you put your, yourself in that position? Like I said, exactly. you're already you're signed and you like you make good. it good. You don't have to do stupid things. Yeah, before. exactly. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm a comedian. I got a past life, but if I, I know I'm getting signed, I got a blessing. I'm not, I leave all the stupid shit yeah. behind. Yeah. That's what you do. The stupid shit will come back and bite you right, right in the ass. Right, right in the ass. ass. Yeah. yeah. That's what they say, the stupid shit will come back sooner or later. And then he chasing, be smart. he chasing all these women, but they have to be underage women. Yeah, and now stupid. you got caught up. Mm -hmm. Some chest of the molester shit. Yep. And your life won't be the same. Never. Hey, because now, now I think he has to, um, he has to make, he has to turn, turn, turn himself into a, a child um, molester, something like that. Yeah, you got to do that. Uh, what's that? That uh, Megas law. Megas law. Yeah, yeah, yeah Megas law. You got to sign that. that. Yeah. That's, that's dangerous. Man. That is dangerous. Wait, it's just life. You want to act like that? And fuck, I'm going to do it. Whatever. <laughs> I got my own job here. I got right. bills to pay. Right. <laughs> got my fam family to worry about. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm worried about, man. Right. All I'm worried about. Anyway, I'm going to let you get back to your podcast. I got to get back to work. Feel me? Yeah. Still on the clock. All right. You got your head, brother. Thank you, man. Got you, man. I got you. Hey, whenever you guys want, want me on. Oh, yeah, I got you, man. I got you, man. Yeah, but back to this 6 9 madness, hey, man. Uh, like I said, why would you have a blessing in life? You get signed and yeah, make all this money and still choose 
and do retarded things, basically making dumb decisions. Like I'm a comedian, like I said, if I was if I got a past life, if I was to get signed, all all the dumb decisions is out the water. No more it's racketeering like that that followed me for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and that mega law. Racketeering that includes a lot of things, like uh murder, uh kidnapping, arson, uh I think it's bribery, fraud. It's like thirty five different charges with racketeering. I know it's like over the over like a ten years span. That's that's basically what racketeering means. Don't nobody know what racketeering means. I know that's racketeering over a ten year span to charge, but it includes mostly all the things I said. And he didn't got mostly all the things. I don't know about the murder charges, but he didn't got heard about the embezzlements and all all that robbery and all that. But that's just that's just dumb. You put yourself in that situation for no reason. You already you mean you got enough money not to do that kind of stuff, you just shouldn't be doing it. That's basically what it comes down to, man. That's basically what it comes down to. You don't have to put yourself in certain situations. And I, and I, I basically don't understand. I, I just don't understand dumb ass decisions. I don't understand dumb decisions. When you're put in a position of power, and if you do have a team, maybe you don't have to put your team in trouble. But if you know they're not in your same position, maybe you should let one of them do it. Because that's maybe that's what I would do. Let somebody else do it. So if I'm the face of the show, I'm not about to let me get messed up. If you want to do that, then that's on you. If I say I'm already blessed, and hey, I'm going to keep my blessings. No well, reason for me to be doing that. Everywhere. everywhere. Like cameras, phones, yeah. Like you can't go anywhere without getting seen. You ain't lying. They tap into all your phone. You see what they did when Donald Trump said you're gonna send a text message to everybody. Everybody got the text message on the same day. And that is some that's some, that's some freaky and scary shit to me. I, I just gonna tap into my line and you know, give it, I ain't never read Donald Trump on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You trying to shut the government down again? Oh, you trying to shut it down again? The money to, uh, See, so he don't deserve. We talk. Y'all can't hear. We talk can't hear, talking about Donald Trump. We think about shutting down the government again. I don't know why we picked this president. I guess you, when they say you really got to go out and vote, to me, I think everybody vote don't count. They pick who they want to pick. That's just my personal opinion. This man is not good to be a president, anybody. That's what I personally think. They say that because he definitely is a different individual. He damn sure is. <laughs> He's smart about his money. I give him that. I give him that. He fell bankruptcy how many times? Yeah, but it's like he, but he, he, he like he's still a millionaire. So the man is smart business wise. As president, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think. That's man. facts. Yeah, that's now now that's facts. And then you got a uh, Kevin Hart thing. Now I'm a comedian. I feel for the man because. They talking about something that happened. Oh, they was tweeting it about him not wanting his son to be gay, and he got an opportunity to go to the Oscars. But now I think he like he backed down from the Oscars. Yeah, they want to host the Oscars, and then he, he chose to host the Oscars. Yeah. Then the next shit came out and resigned from the Oscars, mostly. But he said he had a video saying like he's not gonna he apologize for the same shit. He apologized before. The first yeah. time. Right. So why you want to keep apologizing for the same shit? Right, yeah, you got yeah, and plus when you when when you're a comedian, when you when you're doing comedy, you're a comedian, there's no filter in comedy. I learned that only been four years of the game. There's no filter in comedy. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about, as long as people don't get offended. But if they do get offended, then you shouldn't bring your ass to a comedy show or you shouldn't be following no comedian. That man is a comedian, he's allowed to say what he wants. We have freedom of speech in America, hey, amen. So he's talking about him not want his son to be gay to me that's just that's his freedom of speech he had, yeah that's his personal opinion why would you he could tweet whatever he wanted to tweet he could say whatever you want to say i can say i want to murder somebody but if i don't actually if you don't actually see me want murder the person then you're just not gonna believe me he can say he don't want his son to be gay that's how he feels i have a son i don't want my son to be gay that's the way i feel i don't want my son to be gay men should be with women women should be with men that's the way that's the way I'm from the old school. I don't have no problem with gays, but the 
shit. If a man want to say he don't want his son to be gay, he don't have to have his son to be gay. Like I said, I'm a comedian. You know, there's no filter in comedy. You were just allowed to say whatever you want to say. Whatever's on your brain, you just say it. I've been on stage and talked about the past and, and talked about robbery on stage, which really happened in my past life, and, and, and I choose to talk about it on stage. If somebody feels some type of way about it, that's life. That's what you do in comedy, man. It don't matter if you're a comedian or not. You, you've grown shit, even young. You're allowed, in America, you got, it's freedom of speech. You can say whatever you want to say. As long as you don't say you want to kill the president, then you get charged with that. That's like a, that's like a big no no. Like, don't ever say I'm about to assassinate the president. Like, you're going to get charged with that shit. Like, they don't play that. You can't tell no damn comedian. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, it's, maybe it was the gay community. That was LBG. Yeah, LBGs, all that shit. You know, everybody got their own little thoughts and shit, but it's, it happened years ago. People got to learn to let stuff go. And I don't know why Kevin, why would he just back out from the Oscars? Like, that's like a big thing right now. That's a thing. We found out from before. But yeah, I feel like he shouldn't even apologize. You, like, I, you allowed to say what you want to say. It's a joke, because I bet you at the, LG, the, L, the LGB career, they probably laughed at it first. Mm -hmm. But one of them felt a little salty, so they felt like they had to say something. Yeah, yeah. Years ago. and he gonna worry about a probably probably was a nobody who said it. I'm not gonna worry about a nobody who said this. You don't even you don't even matter to me. You ain't gonna make it in life. You see what happened? Then something came out. I mean, national news. Yeah, you can't let stuff like that bother you, man. That's why I always say you you blessed in the position. You just keep moving with yourself, man. That's in all aspects of life. All aspects of life. I don't know why, but this man back out. What is this? Do this later. You gotta come here till I got adjust. Yeah, yeah, yeah something popped up on the screen. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Ain't doing a lot. Yeah. <laughs> is anybody uh? Yo, I can't see all these comments. No, they ain't seen that. They all right. My sister been talking crazy. She found said piece. Mm -hmm. uh, Billy said something about it. Billy said something. But, uh, yeah, well, basically, these facts are not. I just think it's facts that you shouldn't worry about what other people. People are going to talk about you regardless whether you're doing good or you're doing bad in life or not. Uh, it don't matter whether you got signed. Or rather, you don't have no deal, like I said, especially with this Kevin Hart situation. The man is allowed to say what he want to say. In comedy, there's no filter. And if you don't like what nobody's saying, especially at a comedy show, you shouldn't bring ass to a comedy show. You shouldn't be following a comedian. You just don't mess up your life or don't back out from no opportunity, because I personally wouldn't have backed out from the Oscars for me saying something years ago. I don't even know how many years ago. He tweeted it. Like, do you know how many years ago it happened? He said, he said it happened in 2009. 2000, 2018. Nine years ago, <laughs> we were about some bullshit that I said. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Nine <laughs> years ago, we were about some bullshit that I said. <laughs> yeah, try to find anything just to knock a black man down. That's the way I feel about it. That's, that's, that's the right there. Yeah. That's big facts. Yeah. I think that's big facts. Try to find anything, dig up old news, just knock another black man down because he's successful. Maybe you hate it because you ain't make it. And I just think that's just, that's just the world we live in because the world is not the same no more. Before everybody was back in the day, probably just, you know, everybody was just doing their thing. Everybody was signed and happy. Now you just got all these new school comedians, new school rappers, all kind of shit. You got the now everybody's gay freely, like that's the LGB community. Like it's just like it's back then, like I guess there was secrets on being gay. Now they're just out and open with the shit. Now you can't say nothing about the shit. You can't say nothing about being gay. But it, but you can't tell nobody. If you don't have a child, you can't tell nobody how to feel about their child. That's the way I personally feel about it. Like if the man didn't want his son to be gay, you don't have to have his son. Like he, he, that's his personal opinion. Everybody has an opinion. So you shouldn't let nobody knock you for your opinions. That's all I'm saying about out there. I don't know how y'all feel about it. Like I keep telling y'all, y'all want to tune in, speak up, say something. 
Call in right now, 215-906-7080. Talk to the Reverend. I'm here. Be here for about another 20 minutes, too. <laughs> 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 oh man. Mm-hmm. Trying to think of some other new stuff yeah that we do got going on. But I really keep tapping to the Kevin Hart stuff. Basically about your own child. You can't tell nobody how to raise their child. People can raise their kids the way they want to raise them if it's up to your child when they get older. You just got to let them be free. You got to accept it. Like, I wouldn't want my son to be gay, but if he grows to be gay, they just something I'm going to have to learn to accept. You know, I won't probably accept it in my heart, but it's something I had to learn to deal with. And that's just life, eh, man? Old tweets need to move their feet. <laughs> oh, man. They ain't losing about the president, man. The war or the, uh, his lawyer being locked up for three years. From, from, from they, they wanted to impeach Trump. That's what they said. They wanted to impeach him. Um, the girl immigrant that, uh, that, that died that she was detained across the border. Yeah. Hours later, she, she, she died. After being detained? Yeah. Probably one of us probably killed him. one of the Americans, you think? I should have had you on the other side of this, on the other side of this table. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of things is just facts and uh, uh, died. She died at the She's in custody of border control, despite the account from them. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was said that she had not been given food and water for several days. And after several days, they gave some brand new something to eat. Yeah. About the day after that, she stopped eating and she died. Jane, because Jane gave her food. Okay, we were talking about a uh, lady uh, crossed the border and was detained, and they didn't give her. Let me read this. Says the family of a seven year old Guatemalan girl who died in U.S. Border Patrol custody is disputing an account from U.S. officials who said she has not been given food or water for days. Says the family added that Jake had not been traveling through the desert for days before she was taken into custody. You know what, I t- little girl? I think she was she was she was walking through the desert, <laughs> and that hot ass desert for days. And it's especially say a ninety minute walk. I could I won't even imagine walking through the desert for twenty minutes. Yeah, that boy thing is saying that you are migrating from another country trying to get here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying you can't because you're trying to do border wall shit. It's understandable. I'm saying yeah, you know, to the to degree. To a degree. Um, How about you got these people coming over in our country, Mexicans, Haitians, Jamaican, whatever, they come over here. I've been over here for 33 years. So why don't come over here and own a whole gas station? They say seven years tax free with the with the with the immigrants. I don't know if that's actually true. That's just the word. They say seven years tax free. I don't know how y'all feel about immigrants coming over here and just I feel like they're taking over. Like right now I work at a warehouse and it's majority Spanish people. And it's a it's an English speaking company, but now they allow Spanish people to come in there. Like they speak Spanish over the walkie talkies, which we communicate on. And I don't know. I just feel like these immigrants are taking over. They have that 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 uh, ice the ice thing. The ice is people you know. It's called like it's like the ice kind of thing. It's like immigrant communication. I don't know what the E stand for. Well, yeah. I don't, that's the, I don't know. That's the way. That's where I've been seeing people. They be threatening immigrants. If like I call ISIS on your ass, then some cops will come in here and shut everything down. <laughs> yeah, they call ISIS on your ass to come in here. No, they got ISIS terror, but it's a group of cops called like ICE or ISIS, something like that. Oh. Like I'm telling you. 
So like the ISIS ISIS camp or some some shit like that. They know what I'm talking about out there. Y'all know we got these immigrants coming around here, hey man, and, and taking over our country. And we we've been over here for years and now they come over here and get all these good jobs and got no social security number. And you know, until still to this day, I've never seen one of these immigrants on unemployment because you can't get unemployment. No, you can't get unemployment without no social security. Without no social security number, but yet these jobs are harm because they know they'll work for a low rate. And that's so big so, facts. Who that? That's the company fault? That may stop you saying. Yeah. But company, using company policy demand, you need social security numbers. I know when I've been working that job, I need my social security number. I need a, a form of identification, a form of uh, photo ID, maybe like a birth certificate. They be showing up with none of that. And it's because they don't know no better that they hire the person at a, at a lower rate. If you know you've been getting paid three dollars over, just say you're from Mexico, from Mexico, and you come over here and I pay you eight dollars an hour, you're taking that all day. I don't need to see your social security card. And I know you're gonna work harder than the rest of these. No, no, no offense to my black people, but you're gonna work harder than the average black man, especially if you're Mexican. I know my uncle had us doing uh, something one time. We was doing uh, sheep rock for an old church on, on Martin Luther King Boulevard, yeah. right across the street from um, from from uh, Evans. That little that little it's, it's like a little Haitian church now or African church. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. But he he was charging us um thirteen dollars a sheet for sheet rock. He had fifteen sheets of sheet rock. And he found these Mexican dudes. We was taking too long. Guess how much he charged my uncle? Char Guess how much they charge my uncle? They do it. They do it for seven dollars a sheet rock. <laughs> seven dollars. And the average price for that she was like thirteen dollars. Somebody to charge you put each one up. That was only for the sheet rock. That wasn't even including the labor. Yeah. yeah. And the, my, my uncle gave me and my other cousins a month. These men put, I swear to God, in one week. Give it to you all the time. If you took us, you got to fire our black asses because no Mexicans that came, man. Fire our black asses. And this is big facts again. Fire our black asses, hey, man. And it brought the Mexicans here. They finished it in a week. We only had a month to finish it. Immigrants is taking over, man. And y'all got to focus. See, I don't tap too far into politics. I don't really like to talk about I don't. I don't vote. I don't vote, no. I feel like it has nothing to do with me. As long as it don't change my way of living, I'm fine. But the laws change way of living. I mean, like me personally, I live, I don't know, I kind of live. <laughs> I can't tap too far in it. It don't change, I can't really explain how to tell you my way of living. If it don't change my way of living, personally, personally I don't really give a damn about vote. It ain't gonna change me, especially if I see anybody black that vote that want to be president. I vote for them just because they black. Because black people don't really get these chances in life. I'm gonna vote for you just because so you're black. You put about the politics, you the politics fucked up or not? Just because they black. You're damn right. You get, I want to get black people a chance. You got some fucked up black people. You got some good. You got some good black people. Just like you got good white people. You got fucked up black. Fucked up white people. They chose the fucked up white person this time, <laughs> which is Donald Trump. So I wouldn't mind a fucked up black person going in there and do some shit. I was gonna. Yeah, you got tear it's already fucked. America's already fucked up. Y'all can say that's facts. America is fucked up. Now they're about to legalize weed. So now when you're selling shit, now the tax is gonna go up. Yeah. Yeah. So then the dealers, they're gonna have to drop the price down. That's the thing about apes. Apes was forty dollars. You get an ape now, I seen it with my own eyes for fifteen dollars, three and a half grams. Fifteen dollars. I'm not going to tell you the source <laughs> on the lie. The uh, uh, streets you get for fifteen dollars. So before, before it was straight like, forty dollars. Does that have anything to do with like uh, the malice complaint? Is it like saturated or like, is it just, is it uh, no bad? No, 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 no. Ain't no bad dealers. So I just you just had one of these young boys that come from a different area and they just drop the price down and then like if if if, if you know I'm charging forty dollars and somebody got it for fifteen, they, they shit might the quality might not be as good as mine, but it's like almost as good as mine. Why would you really really ready to spend forty dollars and you could just go over here and spend fifteen dollars? Saving twenty five dollars. Yeah. 
For three and a half grams, that should be charged forty dollars. Coke prices ain't the same no more. Dope prices ain't the same no more. The whole drug game ain't the same. No, the whole drug game ain't the same no more. Before you sell dope, it'd be ten dollars a bag. Now it's five dollars a bag. For that, it's twenty. See. Used to be twenty dollars a bag. Now it's five dollars a bag. Now you're only making two fifty off of bread. <laughs> bread should be having too far into this, <laughs> but I had to pass the light. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say no nah to that one. We're gonna say back. We're just gonna say no. Nah. We're just gonna say no. Nah. Things are just not the same no more, man. I just feel like people. Just, everything has changed. Like I said, America is fucked up. It's not the same. No more. And they got the they got the new system out with the with, with the EPT. They got the shit on the card, still on the blue card. Like before, y'all remember food stamps? We had the shits with the with the brown. It was brown, green, purple, like a bright. No, I said green already. Brown. It was, I think one was like blue. Came in a little booklet. Real food stamps. Yeah, real food stamps. But now I'm just saying, EPT is on a is on a card now. Just like child support. They got child support. On the car. Is somebody comment on it? Yeah, my sister is still commenting. Go. She said, I, uh, I, I said, I said, weird, like I smoked or something. He said, weird, like he smoked. Yeah. I'm just talking about, like, <laughs> he's talking about the street. He's over there, I was going to medical specialties, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but they ain't $15 either. They 40 and up. Right, so now, what it is, you know, I've seen the apes in, in, in the medical dispensary, people bring them over. It's a lot of people, it's, it's so easy to get your hands on any kind of weed out here. Any any kind of drug is so easy. I'm not gonna say where to get this I shit from, <laughs> but it's so easy to get your hands on drugs, guns, anything. Because that's how America works. It's fucked up. They put all these guns in the street, and then they blame the black man as if somebody ain't shipped these shits over here. You can't just run to the gun store and say, "Let me get that," without proper identification. Like I said, with the immigrants, you need proper identification for shit like that. No record, none of that. Just like you used to go to Walmart and get a gun, all you had to, it takes a five-minute process. You get a shotgun, you call Pennsylvania, if you want to be in PA, call Pennsylvania State Troopers, get me your thing, make sure you ain't got no, if you ain't got no prior charges, but you gotta tell the truth or you will, or you will get a charge. It only take, the whole process take only five minutes over the phone. All you gotta do is answer the questions truthfully. I seen somebody doing it right in front of me and grab the gun right out of the case in Walmart. They even let people, any, anybody, you could not have a gun at Walmart because America is so fucked up. And you might look like you're over 18. Go to the case, ask them for a box of bullets, and they'll give it to you. Because I personally did that. And they even asked me for no odd day. Why would you let a, a random person come back here, you point to a box of bullets, and let me get the box of bullets right there. You won't even question why I need the box of bullets. You don't know if I'm a serial killer. You don't think America, that, that, that's why you just know America is fucked up. Then you got people out here killing each other, beating people up over Jordan. Something that came out six motherfucking times. Yeah. Now, yeah, now, this is big facts again. See, I'm attached from Reverend Tinto there to Albert Tupac talking right now. Yeah, Albert <laughs> Tupac talking right there. Six times. And you're out here chasing the same thing. But like I said, like, but. At the same time, you buy Timberlands, that's, that, that's all the same. If you'll keep buying the same pairs of Timbs, Nikes, Air Maxes. But I'll be damned if I buy the same shoe that came out six. I'm not buying no Jordans no more. It costs no $250. People win their little raffles and then sell them for $320 or yeah. $300. $400. $400. And niggas out here, they're like, they'll buy that. They ain't got to be eBay to do this shit on the street. You see them post, post it all. I got a size nine and a half and you wear a size seven. Why you post a size nine and a half? <laughs> but you had somebody buy for four hundred. Who wants to wear the same shoe everybody else got? You go to the club, everybody look there, everybody got the concourse on. Nobody looked different. Everybody got the concourse on. The black and white ones, you got the rubber sole at the bottom. Oh, yeah. I've been I wear a pair of joints in here. So. Me either. My shit is Pumas and Air Max. I like Air Max and Pumas. Uh, it's who can, uh, yeah. Who can, Shit, I wear a pair of Columbia's right now, especially in the rain. If I can find some, I want a pair. I would if I can find some. I want some, especially I work in the warehouse. I gotta go. I'm a forklift driver, so I gotta go outside with my pair of Columbia's. 
That's another thing. That's facts. I'm from the old school. That's big facts. What else we got going on, man? Talked about the immigrants. Y'all know they taking over. Y'all want to y'all want to talk about the immigrants to me? Y'all could y'all could tune in and call me right so now. Taking over. But right. these countries that you immigrants come in. Right? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe not, maybe they're minority. So how do they take, how is minority taking over? You think minority, you think immigrants are minority? This Before black people used to be the minority. There's wait, more wait. immigrants than black people right now. I know what it is. My company, what I work for, is an English speaking company. There are more Spanish people in there. A lot of them from, a lot of them from DR, the Dominican Republic, Mexico, Guatemala, and things. So you're saying more immigrants, that, that, uh, this country is black people. Yeah. You know, they, okay, they, look. Say is that facts? Can you prove that? I can't. Uh, if I Google it, I can prove it. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it. That's, 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 that's an interesting thing to say. Yeah. I mean, because, of course, the, the you know, majority are Caucasians. So, I got to disagree. I'm still going to disagree. Anything. They, they don't want to they don't say have the country overpopulated. So how can a minority group of people come in and take over? Okay, check this out. You go on vacation with your wife, you want to go out of the country, right? Right. What's the rules and the regulations in America to go out of the country? You need a passport. But to get a passport, you need some type of form of identification, social security. These people would be sneaking over here. And we hiring their ass. You can't tell me you've never seen nobody get hired around. That's why, that's why they got the thing in America, only in America, you work under the table. You don't need no ID, you don't need nothing. You just get paid straight cash. And most people who work under the table are what? Immigrants. And there's a lot of jobs like that. You got mad immigrants working at these gas stations. You got mad immigrants taking that buy, that buy gas stations. They just lived in India. India is a poor ass country. They're doing that you don't want to do that. Yeah, for a lower fee too. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for a higher fee. <laughs> they are doing jobs that I wouldn't do. But if they had the right the, the right amount of fee, I, I'll do it. You got them working at Wendy's, they taking over McDonald's. You see all this shit. I know you just say it. The people say they wouldn't work at McDonald's or Wendy's. If, if, if minimum wage go up fifteen dollars an hour. And say if I get fired from my job, I make a little bit more than fifteen dollars an hour. But if I get fired from my job, I'm making wage fifteen dollars. I'm working at McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. You want double burger with cheese? I I, I got you, boss. Cost living is going up, so we got to supply. That's why they're trying to leave us. Tell me, tell me, tell me which part you you don't understand. Because they said they're just minorities, so they just less than them than anybody else in this country. They're minorities. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there's black people in the second minority. Mm-hmm. These Caucasians. So, so you think white people are the majority? In this country? Yeah. That's facts. You, I, I don't think that's facts. You tell me, you don't see. You, you, I live out South Trent. <laughs> okay? <laughs> South Trent is filled with nothing but Spanish people. <laughs> All Spanish people. You go out East Trent, you go on Gerard and Howland. Back in the day, they used to be all Spanish, especially on Gerard. The whole strip was filled with Spanish people. So that's, that's Mostly that's, all these bars that's, that we go to is owned by what? Spanish people. You don't see, you, you, it's hard to find a black owned bar besides uh, the one out East Trent on that back street over there by Hessels on that little side street. 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 Look, people go to Martinez. Martinez is a black, is, 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 I mean, not a black, a Spanish last name. Oh, my cousin calling me. Let me see. What's up, cousin? What's up, cousin? My bad, everybody. Okay. Cousin, I'm going to call you. I know what you're about to ask, but I'm going to call you back because I'm on, I'm on the line. I'm going to call you back in six minutes. Okay, six minutes. Yeah, six minutes, baby. All right. No, no, no. She, she ain't worried about the line. I know what she wants. <laughs> Yeah. No, she probably she probably she, she wants something else. <laughs> oh man. No, yeah. Let's talk about that. That's big ass, man. I'm not talking about that on this live. Mm-mm. Not the reverend. I'm, I'm blessed, everybody. <laughs> I'm blessed. <laughs> 
But I really honestly think, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm about to Google this real quick for y'all. Let me see. All right. Let me. Y'all give me a second. I'm Googling this. What's the majority race in America? I believe it's the immigrants. It could be facts. It might be nah. Let's see. Uh, uh, it's July. Okay. That's July 2016. White Americans are the racial majority. Uh, so mine ain't facts. Mine is no. But I still feel like they take it over. <laughs> they just take it over. God damn, my mother called Jesus Christ. We're going to wrap this up after this one. Yeah, I'm at my podcast, Ma. <laughs> oh man! No, but uh, we'll wrap it up. We we'll wrap it up with a prayer. We're we'll gonna wrap it up with a prayer, man. We we'll can tune in next Sunday. Wrap ten toes. Yeah, talk about some more facts in life, man. So we we'll wrap it up. I come to you hungry and tired. You give me food, let me sleep. I come to you weak, you give me strength, and that's deep. You called me a sheep and led me to green pastures. I only asking that I keep the focus in between the chapters. You give me the word, and I only ask that I interpret. And give me the eyes that I may recognize the serpent. You know I ain't perfect, but you like me to try, unlike the devil who just wants me to lie till I die. Lord, why is that I go through so much pain? All I saw was black. All I felt was rain. I come to you because it's you who knows. Showed me that everything was black because my eyes were closed. Amen. That's from Reverend Tinto's down. Y'all tune in next Sunday. I'll add me for more facts. Shout out to Stressed Out Clothing. Shout out to uh, Global Unlimited. Shout out to the congregation who couldn't be here tonight. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Tune in next Sunday, 6 o'clock. We talk about more facts. We out of here. Y'all stay blessed. Every time I do it, yes. Well, I got to double tap it. Every time I do it, can't, I got to can't. It don't end it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it always do that when I 